Tattoo has been part of the Philippines cultures that started in tribal life, pre-Hispanic colonization of our country. Our country was called La Isla de los Pintados. Tattooing in the Philippines is a tribal form of rank and achievements. It has some magical qualities according to some tribes. Many kinds, traditions, and styles of tattoo are in our country. Tattoo is rank, power, form of beauty, design of one's body. Butch, a young tattoo artist who owns Black Samurai, committed to share his knowledge about traditional Japanese art. He is a painter and proceeded to hone his craft by inking people. He put up his shop with the help of his wife. He is original, evolving, and has the elements of designing people's bodies with different styles. So, pag tinitingnan mo sa mga overrated din sa internet, so nilagyan ko siya ng black, so black samurai. So, yun, doon nagsimula yung pangalan ng black samurai. So, pag sinabing black, parang bold siya, di ba? Tingnan. Actually, uh, dati, ano na ako eh, uh, painter na ako ever since nung college pa ako. So, as tattoo artist, ah, walang kwentang ano yan, profession yan, di ba? Kung anong pinag-aaralan mo sa college, yun dapat yung magiging ano, goal mo sa life mo. Dumating nga lang na parang nagsimula sa trip hanggang mga tropa nagpapatato. So, yun, parang nagsimula yung life ko as tattoo artist. Haji. He has an appealing tattoo that represented Butch, what he can really do. One proof of his hard work, it is Butch's passion revealed on this back piece. Kilala ko na din si Butch sa Facebook. Nakikita ko na din yung mga gawa niya. Tapos, yun, nagkausap kami sa tattoo. Hanggang sa pinonsider ko siyang kuning artist kasi ang plano ko na nun likod eh. Harris. He is inspired by Japanese warriors and can relate to the ability of these ancient noblemen. He will be getting this new symbol of power and authority on his arm. Inspired ako sa mga samurai warriors kasi matatapang sila. So, yun ang napili kong design. Siguro applicable din sa akin na yun ang gusto ko. Actually, yung una, wala talaga sa plano eh. So, na-inspired lang ako, nakikita ako na art kasi siya eh. So, nga, nakahiligan ko, kailan lang, nasunod-sunod na. Armin, a businessman of all sorts, will be getting a geisha that represents his girlfriend. If they don't work out, it will be forever remembrance of his young love from the past, a symbol of what he had before. Uh, napili ko si Butch kasi yung isa kong kabalkada sa kanya nagpatato. Una, nakikita ko lang siya sa Facebook, mga pictures lang. Pero nung nagpatato na yung kabargada ko, sabi ko, ay, magaling talaga siya. Siya nga si Butch Moss. Ayun, nagpagawa at nagpa, uh, nagpa-schedule kagad ako. Elaine, he lives in Vancouver, Canada. He's currently studying at British Columbia Institute of Technology, taking a business course. His family and also his twin brother, are also into tattoos. Oh, I chose Butch because um, last year I saw him at the tattoo convention and um, his artwork and his oriental style really stood out from every other artist. And um, that's the only one I want on my body and that's why I chose him because, yeah, he's, he's just better than everyone else's. Andrew from Singapore is a family man who likes to travel and works in corporate world but he has this kind of belief for his tattoo related to his culture and religion. I've seen his portfolio and his uh, work, uh, which he has uh, shown, and I like them a lot. He's sort of connected by things that we discuss about, about life, about uh, Buddhism, um, because he's very open to the ideas, uh, the, the teachings. Woodsy, is a retired guy who likes all sorts of hobbies in life, including outdoor activities like fishing, camping, trekking. Philippines is the place where he feels home because of what nature could offer and the warm culture. As soon as I seen that page, I knew straight away that he was the one that was going to do my tattoo. To me, it was a spiritual thing. It was a connection. Um, I felt like I already knew Butch 
before I even met the man. And I was convinced in my soul that he was the one that was going to do these tattoos. Even though I've only known him for 48 hours, is a, is a spiritual man. He's very, very blunt, very straightforward. Gives respect when respect is given. Here in the Philippines, many tattoo artists have been showing off their stuff not only in the metro, but also from provinces. Recently, a tattoo convention was held and they call it Dututan. A lot of artists have been putting up their own tattoo shops, blogs, and websites to showcase their work. This is how they met Butch, through word of mouth and through friends' testimonials. I was a penguin, then I was able to get it, and then I was able to get it, and then I was able to get it. Tinanong niya na ako kung anong gusto ko. Sabi ko, ang, ang gusto ko lang, samurai na oriental, Japanese, ganun. Yun lang sinabi ko. Tapos sabi niya, magdo-drawing siya ng design at kung magugustuhan ko. Noon, after a week, pumunta ako sa shop niya, tinignan ko yung design. Yun, nakita ko yung design na sobrang ganda talaga ng pagkakagawa niya. Kung ano yung drawing niya, yun din mismo yung ginawa namin. Tapos yun, nag-schedule na kami ng session. Naabot kami ng mga apat na buwan katagal bago matapos. Uh, kaya napili ko si Butch yun nga, tulad ng nasabi ko. Siya yung nagsimula sa akin. Gusto ko, kung meron, kung bala ko ulit magpalagay, siya ulit yung gagawa. Kasi nakikita ko talaga yung determination niya, yung talent niya, yung skill niya. Magaling siya. Considering getting your first ink but don't know quite what to expect or how to prepare, a tattoo, especially for a first-timer, can be daunting if you consider the permanency and the possible pain. Feeling intimidated doesn't necessarily mean a tattoo is a bad decision. It is a natural reaction when you are faced with the unknown. Shrink your ink worries with a little thought, research, and preparation. Sa start naman yan kasi ang skin kasi iba-iba yung uh, canvas. Natutro lang, bakit ba kailangan maging five years na ang tattoo artist may experience, matawag lang na professional? Kasi hindi lang naman yung art itself, eh, kundi yung skin, iba't ibang klaseng skin tone, skin color, at saka texture. Alamin mo kung paano yung technique pagpasok ng tinta sa balat. Yung pag-aanda ko nung unang pagpatattoo, ano, uh, yung kailangan dagdagan ko yung tapang at saka lakas ng loob kasi di, wala pa akong experience eh. Saka wala pa akong mga kaibigan nun na may tattoo eh. So hindi ko pa alam talaga kung ano nang, nang, anong nangyayari. Yung ko wala naman kasi alam ko na yung sakit eh. I know what to expect kasi yun nga, second time ko na to eh. Nakanasad ko siya nung una. And since kinaya ko, so yun, ganun lang ulit. I just get about um, eight hours of sleep before I get my tattoo and just um, eat a good meal before I come here. Then I won't feel the pain that when I get here. Everybody has its own perspective why they got ink. Each has its own meaning. Majority has its own tattoo stories. Some tattoos have meanings you will never know unless you ask. So kailangan ipagmalaki natin yung oriental works natin. Kasi pag sinabi mong oriental, hindi lang naman Japanese or China, di ba? So lahat yan eh. Sakop tayo ng oriental. Basta buong Asia yan. So papalit-palit ng kultura. Ibig sabihin ng aking bagong ipapagawa ay ang significance ng girlfriend ko sa buhay ko. Magpapalagay ako ng gay siya kasi half Japanese siya. Sa likod ko wala namang lalim o kaulugan para sa akin. Basta yun lang yung interesante at saka appealing na disenyo para sa akin. Saka gusto ko talaga siya. Maliban dun wala namang oh, yung art lang talaga, yung aesthetics lang talaga. Um, I got a phoenix because um, it basically represents a like, new life and um, it represents me, like how everything um, from the past and now. And um, just the skull and the animas, we just incorporate it in it to um, be better and like flow and everything um, will turn out to be um, really good. Originally, I have already one endless note from uh, which I have tattooed in Singapore. Uh, so I came to Butch to add on the koi fish and then the lotus flower 
uh, all three of them are symbols from auspicious symbols from Buddhism uh, for example the the fish represent um, fearlessness um, not afraid of danger in the ocean of suffering for the lotus flower uh, lotus flower means a purification of the body speech and mind his again his art his tattoo it's not just a tattoo it's not just a picture it's a connection between how I felt about meeting him and the end result when he does a tattoo the tattoo is it's perfection it's what you want we all know tattoos hurt a lot permanent and will forever be part of you getting this permanent art you will hear all kinds of comments from it didn't hurt at all to stories about getting sick or passing out don't listen to any of it as the pain is different for different people and varies depending on the part of the body that is being tattooed wala namang nagstop mga nanghihinayang lang ang hinayang sa gasto pero nagstop wala kung di man mag-workout siguro diyan lang siya isa lang siyang page sa buhay ko yung para hindi ko siya makalimutan nandiyan lang siya hindi ako nanghihinayang kasi dapat unang-una ako magpapatatuo ka sigurado ka sa disenyo ko yung gugustuhin mo siya ng matagal na panahon para walang panghihinayang pag nagpatatuo ka it's at your own risk <laughs> pag bago sila magpatato sipin muna nilang maigi kung ano yung talagang gusto nilang design kasi permanent na yan eh. The fact that nearly everyone is nervous when they go to get a tattoo, main reason, the pain. People wonder how they can tolerate the pain during the hours from start to finish. There is always a feeling of apprehension when you sit in the chair. This is your body's natural defense, endorphins. Your own endorphins will kick in and help to ease any pain or discomfort you are about to deal with. Ang <laughs> The first 60 seconds is usually the worst, and then when you realize it's just not that bad, you calm down and the rest is smooth sailing. Masakit pala siya, pero pag tapos na, yun, na-appreciate mo na yung buong ano yung sakit. Ang painful na mga parts, yung ano, spine, tsaka yung bandang kwet, sobrang sakit talaga dun, hindi ko makalimutan. Top of my around my ass area and um, behind the thighs where it hurts the most. Para siyang binasa tapos nila pagan ng plancha. Ganun siya kasakit. I learned to do that the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what makes you a better person. Yeah. You have to be right at the very bottom of life. Yeah to come back up yeah. and when you get back it makes you better. Yeah. So I'm back. Each culture has its own reactions on tattoos. Positive and negative, we cannot control that. Acceptance of this art has been fought over so many times. The best reaction yung yung akala nila yung Yung sleeve na sinusuot ng mga nagmumotor, tapos, tapos tatanungin ka nila kung pwede nilang hawakan. Tapos pag hinawakan nila, tapos sasabihin nila tunay pala, tapos ang ganda raw, tapos ngingiti sila, yung nakakatawa yun. Madami, kung ano-ano, hindi ko nilang parang drawing ng bata, mga ganyan. Pinaka-worst naman, sa MRT, kapapatato ko pa lang nun, tapos... Yung may matanda ron na talagang kinausap niya ako tapos nilecturean niya ako na hindi raw maganda yung maganda yung nagpapatatu at saka may tatu daw, mukha daw kriminal. Matanda yung nalalaki tapos kinausap niya talaga ako. Ng... No, um, actually um, everyone in my uh, family and friends they all love tattoos. Basically like 80% of my friends have tattoos and a lot of people in our family have tattoos. My dad has a lot, my little has some and my twin brother actually has a lot too so Mas maganda kung positive at saka ma-appreciate nila na hindi dumi yung pagpapalagay ng tattoo. 
yun yung magandang reaction pero maliban dun hindi ko na pinapansin pa tattoos is being more of a trend they have developed dramatically and are becoming more of a self expression is very popular for everybody young and old show of their permanent inks this illustrates that it is somewhat being more acceptable to our society more and more want to have one I have actually three para sa akin kasi ang galing ng isang artist hindi lang sa pagiging artist siguro kung paano niya dalhin yung life niya na dediretso siya kasi yung art kasi continuous uh, study yan eh walang katapusan yan sabi nating famous ka yun din magpapakasira sa kung hindi mo kayang dalhin Medyo nag-i-improve na siya, gumaganda na dahil nabibigyan na ng exposure yung mga galing na artist, kahit mga underground, hindi lang yung mga mainstream. Uh, na develop lalo yung talent nila dahil marami lalong nagpapagawa sa kanila. So yun, maganda siya, positive, going up. For me, that to do with the Philippines is um, really pulling up. As I see it, it's actually, I think, catching up with the, like, the in the United States and Canada, like everyone enjoys it, and I just see like pretty soon it'll be um, just like the United States and Canada, everyone with tattoos and getting more and more artists evolving and coming through. Unay mo muna yung art bago yung pera, kasi kung nandoon yung galing mo, maraming hanga sa yung maraming kahit magkano pa yan ang idemand mo, babayaran kana dahil sa respect. Para sa akin maganda buhay at saka interesante yung tattoo scene ngayon sa Pilipinas kasi accepted siya ng karamihan ng mga tao tapos maraming gusto magpatattoo tsaka maraming magagaling na artist na talagang magaganda yung gawa so may inganyo kang magpalagay ng tattoo para sa iyo kaya buhay na buhay Butch Roska brings his passion for the art with him anywhere he goes not only it feeds him but it feeds his family and his soul This is his only lifestyle where he provides the best quality of service and original craftsmanship, just like how we aim for the best quality of our lives. So if you are dreaming to have an oriental art on your body, consider yourself to get to know your artist first, like how I knew Butch Roska from my friend, Haji Molina, and I bet you can get a painful, worthy experience. Lahat naman tayo may pagmamahal. Pag sinabing may pagmamahal, passion sa art mismo, para nagagawa natin yung gusto natin at ga, kahit gaano pa katagal yung kahirap yan, gagawin natin yan sa passion. Huwag mong isipin na papagod ka kasi pag iniisip mo na pagod ka, hindi mo magagawa yung gusto mo. Kung masyadong sakitan <laughs> at saka sana, isa na naman to sa mga masterpiece mong matitindi na talaga namang nakakalat sa buong Pilipinas. Yun lang. Thank you in advance. Message ko kay Butch, ano, keep up kasi magaling yan eh. So, pagbuti yan pa just comes to, to me it just comes back to that spiritual connection and the and the and the artwork that he's done and it shows in the tattoo it shows his personality um, it shows who Butch is message ko para sa lahat una sa mga clients ko maraming salamat sa pagsuporta ng art ko at sa Black Samurai Saka sa Alamid, salamat din sa uh, pag-indoor sa akin parate. Tunay kayong pamilya. Mm -hmm.